So something interesting happened yesterday. Out of nowhere, Meta, the company behind uh, Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that, they launched their new Twitter competitor, Threads. I don't know. I think it was early launch. I mean, they kind of started talking about that they were going to have this service a while ago, that it was going to be a direct competitor to Twitter. But yesterday it launched, and apparently, uh, according to the reports here, they launched with over 30 million users signing up <laughs> in one day. Now, look, you guys know that Elon Musk uh, took over Twitter a while ago, right? And there's been a lot of people that have been very concerned about Twitter once Elon Musk did. For a lot of people, it's because they don't like Elon Musk. Me, personally, I am a fan of Elon Musk. I like Elon Musk. I drive, I have a couple of his cars. I love the fact that he's like one of the guys really pushing solar energy and renewable resources. He was one of the very first guys many years ago to be sounding the alarm about climate change and how we need to change our consumer practices and stuff like that. There's a lot of things I like about Elon Musk. But the thing that concerned a lot of people and one of the things that concerned me were reports like this that kind of showed that he, one of the things he did when he took over Twitter was he completely gutted the moderation team. He fired like well over 10,000 employees and stuff like that and then continued gutter, gutting the moderation team once we got into the new year and stuff like that. And that concerned a lot of people with the spreading of misinformation and false, false news and things like that that have had real consequences on companies and people and even countries around the world. So a lot of people started looking for an alternative to Twitter. I myself started looking for an alternative to Twitter. Actually, if you take a look at this here, like here's here's my Twitter account, right? I got like 108,000 followers on there, but I haven't used it since, it's been almost three months, since like April. Now I've tried a number of different things. Like I tried, there was an upstart called Mastodon. Remember that? Mm -hmm. I gave that one a shot, but but there, it was just too convoluted. It was never going to get wide adoption, stuff like that. So it kind of looked like Twitter had the playing field to itself. Well, not anymore. Threads launched in one day with 30 million users. And for the you know purposes of our show here, many of those new signups were some of the big entertainment brands have jumped over to Threads as well. For example, take a look at this. Netflix, already 1 million followers. It's Beyonce here yet. It's Beyonce. And a little bit further down on their timeline, it says, everybody act cool once Beyonce gets here. I also like this one little thing. They said, I love that Threads launched on a picture of Wednesday. Uh, so Netflix <laughs> launched on there with a million oh, nice. <laughs> users. The boys jumped on there with, with their own Thread account on there. With over, we're already 100,000 followers in one day for the boys. HBO jumped over there with almost 200,000 people on there. Also, DC Entertainment jumped over there with like 310,000. That was just, here we are, or we're here on Threads, and we've brought the world's greatest superheroes, and here we go. Also, Marvel launched their Threads account with a million followers in one day uh, with the thing saying, uh, us in the meeting deciding our first Thread posts, and they decided to go with, with great power comes great responsibility, Aww. and that's their first post. So here's the thing. I think unlike a number of the other Twitter upstarts that kind of came out to try to challenge Twitter amongst basic customer dissatisfaction with what Twitter was becoming, uh, this one is serious because, again, they've got meta behind it. People can sign up with their Instagram credentials if you want. You don't have to, but you, you can, which makes things a lot easier. And once you do sign up, you can sign up and automatically follow on threads anybody that's on threads that you also followed on Instagram. So you can see me here. I, I actually created my threads yesterday. John Campia. I put this together last night before going to bed. Got, uh, what is that? 2,600 followers. Woo! 2,600 followers on, and I made my first thread about the fact that I went to go see Joyride again yesterday. By the way, best comedy of the year. You should go and sign that up. But I, I, here's the thing. Unlike those other upstart competitors, Threads poses a real threat. Number one, because it's got a massive company behind it, unlike a lot of the other upstarts. Number two, they're going to come with something of a pre-built-in user base. Three, unlike a lot of the other upstarts, it is a very intuitive and simple app to use. I mean, if you know how to use Twitter, you know how to use Threads. Now, I have no money invested in Twitter and I have no money invested in threads. I don't stand to gain one way or the other. But 
I mean, the idea that there's actually now finally a legitimate Twitter competitor, and more importantly, it looks like our industry, the entertainment industry, seems to be adopting it fairly quickly. Now, it should be pointed out that just because, you know, uh, Netflix and The Boys and HBO and DC and Marvel have all signed up, that doesn't mean they shut down their Twitter accounts. As far as, far as I know, all of them still have Twitter accounts, but the very fact that they've adopted so quickly that they're getting a real following so fast, um, this could be a little bit of a flare in the air that this is might become the new preferred avenue and outlet for entertainment brands to engage with their audience socially. I mean, they all have accounts on all the major social platforms. Mm -hmm. Of course they do, and they probably always will. But just the fact that they're embracing this so quickly, I think this is a big warning shot to Twitter right now. And I think Twitter's going to have to seriously look at how they're approaching things and how they do things, and, and we'll see how this goes. Guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. And HelloFresh gets that you want options when it comes to what you make for dinner, not just the same old thing all the time. And that's why they offer 40 recipes to choose from every single week. So you'll never get bored and can always find something new to try and love. And when you need dinner fast, don't just call for delivery. Think of HelloFresh. Their fast and fresh recipes are ready in just 15 minutes or less. Plus, HelloFresh is 25% cheaper than takeout. Ann and I are both working professionals. And so whenever it comes to dinner time, we're always struggling with whether we should get takeout. But with HelloFresh, it makes preparing dinner together fun, easy, delicious, and nutritious. We absolutely can't live without it. So guys, right now, go to HelloFresh.com slash Campia50. That's Campia50. And use the promo code Campia50 for 50% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Campia50 for 50% off plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Anyway, the question is for you guys. What do you think about this? All the major entertainment brands seem to be embracing this new Threads, which just launched yesterday with 30 million users. Will it stay at that number? Will it go up proportionally over the next couple of weeks? I, I don't know. How do you feel about it? Have you signed up for Threads already? If not, are you planning to? Or are you like, nah, I'm good with Twitter? Or are you like, Dude, I don't even use social media at all. However you guys think about this and whatever you're feeling, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks for checking out our video. Make sure you do all the standard stuff. Subscribe to the channel, click the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below. But remember, we do a daily show as well that you can find on your favorite podcasting app of choice, the John Campus Show podcast. Find it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice.